Hi friends! This book is called Oscar and the Frog, a book about growing by Jeff Waring. Okay, so we have learned about the way lots of things grow. We're watching our caterpillars grow and our ladybugs grow. We read about how birds grow last uh, two weeks ago. And then we're learning about how frogs grow this week, how they change. Okay, so let's see what happens. It looks like Oscar is a cat. One spring day by the pond, Oscar saw some creatures he had not seen before. Frog hopped up. They're tadpoles, Frog said. I was a tadpole before I grew up. Oscar stared at Frog. He didn't look like a tadpole at all. Don't be silly, Frog, Oscar said laughing. So see those tadpoles? So the frog is telling Oscar the cat, I used to look like that. And the cat is saying, no, you didn't. No way. It's true, Frog said. And he told Oscar how frogs grow. At first, they look like a dot in an egg. The egg was soft as jelly. I grew in the egg, then I hatched out as a wriggly tadpole. I could breathe underwater with gills like a fish. I was hungry for pond weed and it helped me grow. Later, my gills disappeared as I grew lungs to breathe air and I grew back legs. Then front legs and my tail started to shrink. And after three months, I was a little frog. I kicked my new legs and jumped out of the water to live on the bank. What else hatches out of eggs, Oscar asked. They looked in the pond. Frog showed Oscar some eggs that had been laid underwater. Many water snails lay their eggs in pouches of jelly or on stones or plants. Dragonflies often lay their eggs on a plant stem just below the water. And fish lay lots of eggs. The perch winds her in a long threads around plants, twigs, or stones. They looked at the bank. Then Frog showed Oscar some eggs that had been laid where it was dry. Many kinds of butterflies lay their eggs on the undersides of leaves. When the caterpillars hatch out of the eggs, they eat the leaves. Many birds lay their eggs in a nest high off the ground. Here are the chicks will be safe from animals who might want to eat them when they hatch. And ducks often nest on the ground close to water so their ducklings will be able to swim quickly away from danger. Do plants hatch out of eggs? Oscar asked. No, said frogs. Most plants sprout from seeds. Each plant makes its own kind of seed. The seeds of apple trees are stored inside their fruit. Strawberry plants have small seeds on the outside of their fruit. Poppy plants have tiny seeds. They are light enough to be carried by the wind. Coconuts are the seeds of the coconut palm trees. They're huge and they can float. Most seeds ripen above the ground, but the plant seeds of the peanut plant grow in the earth. Did I hatch out of an egg or sprout from a seed? Asked Oscar. Neither, said Frog. You were born. You look a lot like you do now, only much smaller with fur and paws, ears and tail. You were hungry for milk. So kittens look just pretty much like they do, but they're just tinier when, they, when they're born. Why was I hungry for milk? Oscar asked. It helped you to grow, said Frog. Milk for you and pondweed for me. Leaves for these caterpillars and bugs for these baby birds. We all need different food to grow. Oscar stretched. I'm so big now, but you're not as big as you will be, said Frog. Are you, asked Oscar? Yes, Frog answered. I've stopped growing now. I'm as big as I'm going to get. How long does it take to grow up, Oscar asked. It depends, said Frog. The flower will be full grown in a few days, but this young tree won't be tall until you are a very old cat. The baby birds will be as big as their parents next spring, Frog went on, but the tadpoles will take three springs or more to be as big as I am. Each living thing takes its own time. Just then, Oscar saw that his mother was coming. What about me? He asked Frog. How long will I stay a kitten? You'll be a full grown cat by winter, Frog said, as big as your mother is now. Oscar looked at his mother. She was much bigger than he was. Don't be silly, Frog, he said laughing. It's true, Frog said. Wait and see. So today we saw lots of things that grow. We saw how plants grow from seeds and insects grow from eggs. And we know that the frog grows from eggs, but cats don't grow from eggs. They are born, okay? So I want you to tell me how frogs and cats grow differently and maybe even tell me what different things they needed, right? The baby kitten needed milk and the frog ate pondweed. So tell me how the cat and the frog grow differently and maybe the different things that they need. See you next time.